In this video I will use Visual Basic to simulate random sampling. There are various ways of doing that. I have only four different ways here. You can make them me random. I'm, I'm using area codes and I'm going to take a random sample of area codes. But whatever you put in this range can be used. So we have in here a very simple random number. And then you can take the first five, the first ten, or you can sort them and then take them. In the next one, we take five percent of random code. Okay. So this one has that five percent, and you can change that, of course. And it will, after you sort it, it will have five percent of all your area codes. And if they are true, those are the sampled ones randomly sampled. You can also do 10 codes, and I put here 10, but you can type any number in there, and then we will get 10 out of those random numbers. And finally we are doing weighted area codes, that means you are not taking every code at equal chance, but you will weigh them by numbers. I did 1 through 4 but you can etc. So some area codes are more densely populated so you want to weight them a little more. And then I added some bars. If you do this with formulas that would be very simple of course. This is done with a random number. That is also done with a random number. But here we are going to use the index function. The index function based on column G all the values and use the rank function of the number to the left and then in the range H4 through H270 which are all the random numbers created by the rand function and then you get these 10. The next one is a little more complicated you have to include or insert a new column that gives you the cumulative weights. So this one is 0 and the next one is K4, which happens to be 0, or has to be 0, plus M4, which is the weight of the previous one. And you copy that formula down and you do one more to make sure that you have all of them. And then here I just created bar codes. I used the repeat function. I want to repeat the plus signs M4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, 6, 7, etc. Then we are going to take a sample of 10 and we put in there a VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP looks up in the cumulative column K times the RAND function, that is times a number between 0 or 1, and then find in K4 through L24, which random number that is in column 2, which is the area code column. So we have here, so now we are going to do this with Visual Basic, so you don't have to make those formulas each time on the spot. You just put your numbers in or whatever you try to sample. And then I created a shortcut, Control Shift R. And when I do that, it says sort all area codes randomly. That is this result. If I say yes, it's going to redo that. And it sorts them randomly. So these are the first 10 random area codes. Then would you like a 5% sample for column D? If I say yes, it will run that too. And again, that amount of sampled ones can vary, of course, for it is a random selection. So would you like a random selection of 10? That's what we have here. Yes. And then would you like a weighted sample of 10? Yes. And it found these weighted ones, so you will see the four pluses are more frequent than the single pluses. But again, that varies all the time. And it tells me we are done. So how did we do that in Visual Basic? Alt F11, make sure that you insert a module, and I called the subroutine random select, whatever you want. 
and then I created a shortcut Control Shift R. We declare a few variables. One is of the range type, one is of the value type. Then it says, do you want to, we are going to ask, do you want to do that first one, yes or no? If you say no, then exit the sub. Then the range B4 for B27, but again for you that may be much shorter or much longer range, put the formula in there, equals, and then a literal quote, and end with a literal quote, the rand function. But we don't want that rand function to change anymore once it's put in there, so we are going to replace the formula in that range with the value in that range, which is basically a paste value operation. And then we sort by range B4, whatever the first one is, in your column. And that will do the job. Then the second one. If you want the range E3 sample from call D, if you say no, then exit the sub. Else we are going to put a formula in the range E4 through E27 based on the following equation equals the random number is less than E3, and E3 is the percentage that you have assigned. Then do a paste value, formula value, sort descendingly. Then we go to the third step. Do you want to do that? If you say no, exit the sub. Then put in range H, 1 through 870, a random number, replace it with a value, then we store in i size the range number that we found in i3, which is in this case 10, and then we are going to replace all of that with the formula in the range i4, starting there, up to cells 3, up to I size plus I size, column 9 in this case. Okay, this is column 9. And put the formula in there that equals, I showed you that already before, index based on the ranked function as a nested function. And that is very straightforward as I showed you before. Then we have one more to go. Do you want to do this one? If you say no, we exit the sub. Otherwise, we put the VLOOKUP formula in there, based on K24, and that is the, the, the grand total one, it is this one, and do that times the RAND function, so it multiplies it between 0 and 1, and then take from the range K4 for L24, which you see here, and find in column 2 your area code. Then we use another formula, look at P4, and find in L4 for N23, that range, find the barcode in the third column, 1, 2, 3, Zero is an exact match. A message box, we are done. So now we should be able to run Control Shift R and you can say yes or no each time and it will do everything again and again. You probably want to do it for only for one of these four options, but I'm showing you how to do it for all of them. If you want to know how to get that shortcut in there, you have to make sure that you have the Developers tab if you don't, you have to go to File, Options, and make sure that on the Customize ribbon, ribbon that the Developers tab is turned on. Once that is on, you should be able to access it, and it allows you to go to Macros, take your random select one, Options and create your shortcut. Shift R, it automatically enforces the control key, so the end result is control shift R.